Hello everybody, I'm Ankit and in this video, I'll help you run a security audit on your Magento site. In the next 10 minutes, I'll make sure Magento security becomes simple for you. Are you ready to see how hackers exploit your Magento site? Wondering what you need to do next? Absolutely nothing. Just stay tuned. So now let's get straight to hack your site before hackers do. Okay, so what I'll be talking about in this video is reconnaissance and scanning where we'll gather all information that's possible and scan your site for vulnerabilities. And out of found out vulnerabilities, what we'll do is we'll try and gain access to your Magento admin and then I'll tell you Magento security tips that you badly need today. Okay, so in reconnaissance and scanning phase, what does a hacker do? He looks for admin URL. So yeah, this is as simple as it sounds. What you need to do, you just need to go to your Magento store. I've set up a Magento store here for demonstration purposes. What you need to do, you just need to append admin to the URL to your Magento store. And if it opens a form, I mean, you have your admin set up on Magento store URL slash admin that means that you have not changed your admin base URL, then you are at problem. You need to do it right away. Why? Because a hacker can go to your admin URL since it's open to everybody in the world and that's the base URL that comes by default. He can brute force on it and he gets a chance to bypass your admin login. Okay, so that's what you need to do right away. Cool. So the next thing that what does a hacker do? He'll go to your site and run mate scan. So mate scan is a command line tool. So I have set up mate scan for your site. I'll just go to my virtual machine. So I'll just check. So yeah, this is the store that we have set up. What I do is I'll run mate scan on our store and see what does mate scan has to tell us. So this is the command that we use to run mate scan. So you need PHP to run mate scan. Right, so php mid scan dot phar file scan all and then the URL to our Magento store. Right, when I press enter, it will start to scan our Magento store and it will give us few information. You see here it has given us version already and what now hacker will do, he'll go find out the web on CV details and see if there's any vulnerability right to this version of Magento. Right, this is as simple as that. Till the time this mid scan is running i'll just go back and see what does hacker next do he goes to mage report right so i'll just check what mage report is so if i go to mage report.com it will scan your magento shop now for known vulnerabilities for your version that you're using it will scan your magento shop entirely and if you've not you know followed any uh best practices or if you've not installed any security patches it will do that for you so what i'll do is i'll just put my url in a major report and see what does this tool tells me automatically right so there's no manual effort you just need to put your url and it will tell you which security patch is missing oh okay so you see that the security patch double one two one nine which is not patched and its severity is high right so this is something to worry there's another patch uh, whose rating is high there's another so yeah so if you have a security patch not installed with high risk rating then this is something you need to worry right now so just go back talk to a developer ask him hey why did you not install a security patch right so this is as simple as that so yeah next what the hacker will do he'll just go and you know find vulnerabilities in slash rss feeds all right if you don't understand that i'll just show you what it actually means so for rss what magento provides is i found out the url uh, for rss in my magento store it says magento slash index dot php slash rss slash order slash new in capitals slash new right so it gives me an xml file with not much information but in your case it could be more information right so you just need to secure slash rss subdirectory right so you just 
need to you know uh, blacklist this sub directory for users to see right and what hackers do they'll you know just go out in public and you know see whether uh, vulnerabilities are there on your store or not so for that what they'll do is they'll just go to public scanners available uh, one scanner that we have and what you could do is you could just use that scanner in order to uh, scan your site for vulnerabilities it's uh, astra dot sh slash what does it say astra dot sh slash scanner with capital s that's what, you, that's what you need to follow right so when you go to this url you'll see uh an area to enter your domain so that it finds for um it finds for vulnerabilities right so when you enter your domain here let's see uh what does it tell us so it redirects us to some page it shows us detect seo spam let's run a security audit because it will tell us all uh the vulnerabilities that are there in headers and so it tells us that astra's health score is 58 of 100 uh our site is not blacklisted so that's that's plus does not redirect to https that's correct because we have a staging server so it's uh, for demonstration purposes i didn't purchase an ssl then it says http hsts not enabled x XSS protection header not implemented that's correct so yeah it tells us uh, you know high severity issues some medium severity issues and low severity issues as well okay so these are the tools that you know hacker usually use to find out vulnerabilities and you know this becomes as catalyst to their reconnaissance and scanning phase right cool so now let's go back to mate scan and see what results we have okay this looks big uh let's just see uh it has given us some information about version installed modules it says no detectable modules were found for catalog information it has categories products unknown then it says patches a status is unknown for a few patches then sitemap uh, robots.txt does not declare sitemaps in this case so you need to understand this table so it says unreachable path check so we need to understand you know for some reason we are getting response code of 404 so this server security is good apparently for the hosting that i've been uh, using and for which i've uh, installed my magento store on so but in your case it might be possible that you have response code of 200 and some fails in status so if response code is 200 and some fails in status, then that path gives a sign of a vulnerability, right? So that is something that should not be shown to uh, your user, all right? So in a while, I'll show you that this, I've already tested and I'm just giving you a synopsis right away that this particular directory is applicable on my site, but because of server security, that's not allowing this tool to run on my site. So it didn't show a fail, but it's a fail. I know, I know for a fact. So it should be 200 and fail for this tool to show vulnerabilities. Okay, so that's what you need to understand. And it gives us a lot of, lot of information. So this tool is really cool. So let's just go back and see what, what does, uh, what does a hacker now know, right? So yeah, that's, that's that's really a good thing that we need to know now that he knows our magento version he knows missing security patches he know extensions and their versions which means extension of exploits right so when your hacker knows extensions he knows versions of extensions then he'll be able to find out which extension has exploits available right so if you have not implemented a security patch or you have an extension that's pretty old which is vulnerable and you would not know that right so unless and until you get hacked you would not know so when you're running a security audit for your site you need to make sure that you are using even magento extensions that are up to date and are not vulnerable to any hacks all right so now is the phase when hackers gains access right so I suggest you to secure this directory slash 
slash etc slash local dot xml things like that right so what i'll do is i'll just go to uh, my browser i'll copy the same subdirectory right right in front of you i'll just copy i'll just see and copy slash app slash etc um it says slash app okay i have used it before so slash app slash etc slash local dot xml right i'll just go into that url and see what it does okay this gives me an xml file with some c data then oh my god so this gives me host so that's my host it gives me username that is correct it's giving me a password that is again correct it gives me a DB name database name what else would hacker need it tells me it's mysql 4 it tells me it's type is pdos mysql a lot more right so this particular subdirectory that's open for public gives me a username your password your database name and everything that you would need right everything a hacker needs is there in this file right so you just need to go back and fix this file make sure that that is not readable uh, to public that is not you know seen by anyone who is not supposed to see this cool then open admin url it is again i've told you that it's open to brute force and it could lead to account overtake are you using a vulnerable extension so i've told you in in the reconnaissance phase they find out what extensions does your magento store use and if any of those extensions are vulnerable that is you you are exploitable right so i've already shown you the ways how hackers gain access now it's time for most awaited uh magento security tips that you need today badly one you need to change your magento admin url anyhow and just in case if you would want to uh, know how to change your magento admin url you'll find a guide in description of this video second you need to go install security patches regularly all right so just tell your developer hey dude security patches are not installed on my side what do i do so he make sure he installs every security patch either it be of medium severity but have him install security patches regularly third is install web application firewall that is really necessary see your developer or your system is incapable of filtering bad requests to your site right your developer cannot manually you know filter uh, bad requests on web so you would need a smart security solution also a web application firewall that would do this job for you all right then ensure your server security is top notch then you'll need to get a professional vpt service who will be able to run a detailed vulnerability assessment and pen testing a uh, process for you who will be able to find out vulnerabilities and not just vulnerabilities via tools you know there there are business logic errors when you know developers are just sitting and developing applications so when it comes to business logic errors tools won't be able to find that so for that you'll need someone to run a security audit for you having said it all these were the things that i had for you today and if there are absolutely any questions that you have do ask me in comments you know i'll make more videos only if you ask me questions in comments you want me to do another security audit or another how to hack a website or another hacker site before hackers do session you'll have to tell me in comments because unless you tell me in comments i'll not be motivated enough to make another video on magento security all right so just do that and i'll come again with one another video that will help you secure your magento store bye bye